This is a video I want to make real quick for those of you who have the problem that I know a lot of people out there have. They have um, your system is running low on virtual memory. We got a couple really quick fixes. All of this is recommended by Microsoft. But you're running Microsoft XP and you're constantly getting messages of running low on virtual memory. All you need to do is simply go to start you go to my computer it should speed this computer up considerably now we're going to click on view system information on the left in the top box there towards the top my computer view system information and whatever that opens up is going to look a lot like a properties box so we're going to go Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Advanced. The Advanced tab is right there at the bottom all the way to the right. And now you're looking for, you no, know, it's the Performance Settings. And once you get this, this little box, kind of hard to... After you get to that first advanced, you want to click the advanced tab again. There's another advanced tab here. Now, right here in the virtual memory area, you click change, right where it says change right there. This one has 768 megabytes of virtual memory. And this is where you're going to have to take your time be careful now you can change the initial size which is in megabytes and the maximum size now what you need to do is change the initial size and that's this one right here you change both numbers to 1.5 of what they are so I got another computer up here I just used the calculator on my computer and it's 768 768 times 1.5 1.5 please not 15 equals 1152 so we're going to change this number to 11.52 Now the maximum that's in there is Gotta use two mouses Okay, so then we put in here 15.36 Times 1.5 2304. I'm use a different mouse for that one. It's 2304. And then we click the set. Okay. Then we click set. Then we click OK. Then we click OK. And after you push this last OK, your computer is going to want to restart. If you keep getting the dreaded message that your system is running low on virtual memory, memory message, even after you increase your computer's virtual memory, then you may need to buy more memory for your computer. And that's if you want it to really work well. Now for Windows XP, you're going to need a minimum of 256 megabytes of RAM. And for Windows Vista, you're going to need at least 512 megabytes of RAM to run. For, but for some applications like gaming, you're going to need a gigabyte or more of RAM. Uh, the RAM that you have, the more RAM you have, of course, is the better. Now, if you're at work, contact your company's IT administrator before updating the memory on your computer. 
They may have some memory available and can help you install it. If you need to purchase some more memory, stop by your local computer shop. You can probably buy memory from them and they probably will install it for you. Or you can buy memory online.